Mr. Yang Baojun, Chief Economist of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Rural Development of China. Mr. Li Zaiyong, Executive Vice Governor of Guizhou Province. Colleagues, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon to all participants in Guiyang, China. On behalf of UN Habitat, I would like to extend my warm congratulations for organizing this Low Carbon Transformation and Green Development Forum and a sincere greetings to all guests and the audience. In my function as keynote speaker, it is my pleasure to introduce the Low Carbon and Green Development Opportunities that can accelerate climate action. As you know, the 26th session of Conference of the Parties to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change will take place this November in Glasgow. I am happy to see that the theme of today's forum echoes the subjects to be addressed as COP26. Cities are playing a critical role in tackling the climate crisis by boosting climate action through clean energy, low carbon emission innovations, and sustainable development. This is why we are fast tracking worldwide the implementation of the new urban agenda, which will help us to attain the sustainable development goals. Cities are home to more than half of the world's population and are responsible for 70% of the global energy consumption as well as for approximately 70% of the global carbon footprint. Relatively, simple low carbon action in cities could reduce emissions by over half of the amount needed to keep global temperature rise below 2 degrees Celsius. Thus, cities are at the front line to catalyze climate action. The fight against climate change which presents the single biggest threat to sustainable development will be won or lost in cities and towns. As such, the United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Guterres, called for a revolution in urban planning and urban transport to beat back climate risks and build a green and sustainable future for all. He also called for urgent action to be taken by cities and mayors in three key areas. To work with national leaders to develop and present more ambitious and verifiable nationally determined contributions or NDCs. Second, to commit to net zero in cities by 2050 and to stir the COVID-19 recovery to accelerate investment and the implementation of clean, green infrastructure and transport system. Cities and community leaders must drive changes. In this regard, I would like to stress on some key points. Cities in developing countries can lead the way in maximizing the development benefits of climate action, including the health benefits from the reduced air pollution gained through the zero carbon pathway. Cities need to generate clean, resource-efficient energy and move away from fossil fuels consumption. Every country, city, financial institution and company should adopt plans for transitioning to net zero emission by 2050. Ambitious net zero climate action must leave no one and no place behind, taking a holistic approach to action that reduce greenhouse gas emissions while protecting vulnerable people from the hazard of the climate change. In order to support cities, particularly in emerging and developing countries, responding to the negative impacts of the climate change and put in place appropriate mitigation measures, UN Habitat launched the Climate Action for Cities campaign in April 2021. The campaign is a flagship initiative of UN Habitat dedicated to emphasis on participatory processes, sound climate analysis, 
sustainable urban planning, good governance, responsive leadership and practical initiative at all levels. Taking this opportunity, I would like to call upon our Chinese partners to join the campaign and drive the climate action for cities. In recent years, UN Habitat provided strong support to our Chinese partners related to climate adaptation and environment-friendly development. For instance, we co-hosted the International Workshop on Urban Adaptation to Climate Change with the Ministry of Housing and Urban Rural Development and the Ministry of Ecology and Environment. We supported the Chengdu municipality implementing the Green Ecological Belt Project. We collaborated with Tongji University to develop the Net Zero Carbon Village Planning Guidelines for Yangtze River Delta region in China. The guidelines promote the rural revitalization under the Net Zero Carbon Goal. I have firm belief that the cooperation between UN Habitat and China will result in valuable best practices which can be shared with the global community. Cities as hubs of resilience and human ingenuity must take bold action to become zero carbon, climate resilient and socially just places to live, work and raise our next generations. The future of the planet depends on the collective climate actions of governments, cities and communities, professional, civil societies and private sectors. Only when we join our forces in taking climate action for our cities, we can leverage the full transformative power of sustainable development. Thank you.